Tonight's headlines are brought to you by McDonald's. Good evening, Commonwealth, and thanks for watching the Channel 2 News. I'm Sally Lemis. Let's take a look at tonight's top stories. The cinema gets back a trusted travel partner. Also tonight, officials polish up the travel bubble plans. We have the details. And lots of people waiting for lots of money. Finance chief asks for patience. In sports, the Pacific Minigames will bring upgrades to some links. Stay with us, these stories and more are next. Good morning, Kiko. I am here at Docomo Walleri Branch. The Docomo staff here are super helpful with my appointment. They take good care of me in just a few minutes. Thank you so much for helping me out downloading and using the Skip Lionel app. I can take care of all my Docomo needs. No need to wait in line with the Skip Lionel app. We love you, Docomo Pacific. Better together. I would recommend websites like the CDC website, Mayo Clinic website, any established um, hospital system or healthcare system. I suspect that Kaiser has a lot of information out there. I would go um, to known websites, WebMD, Healthline, they all have a, a, a lot of information that is reliable and w well thought out. I would much less go to blogs and the individuals who are looking at it from their own perspective and not necessarily science. And there you have it. McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich from the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich. You'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. My doctor gave me the pills, so they must be safe, right? If taken exactly as prescribed, short-term use can be safe. But painkillers have real risk. Misusing an opioid painkiller can cause serious harm, including addiction and death. And misuse can happen quite easily. Make sure you never mix them with alcohol, antidepressants, sedatives, or sleep aids. And if you are prescribed an opioid, you need to tell your doctor about any other drugs, including herbal supplements that you are taking. It only takes a little to lose a lot. Half a day, Tirawami, and good evening, Commonwealth. Today is Friday, July 9th, 2021. The Biden administration approves the governor's request to re-include Hong Kong on the CNMI's waiver program. Governor Ralph Torres sent a letter to the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, formally requesting they re-include Hong Kong on the CNMI visa waiver program. The re-inclusion of Hong Kong program will allow the Commonwealth to resume the tourism industry with trusted travel partners. According to Torres, Hong Kong has not seen any local COVID-19 cases for a month now, and their people continue to get vaccinated. The plan for now is to build on COVID-19 protective measures, vaccination rates, and beautification efforts that will support tourism. Tourism officials are doing the final touches on the travel bubble between the Sinemai and Korea. 
Tourists are expected to arrive in the CNMI by the end of this month. Governor Torres states officials from the Marianas Visitors Authority are polishing up the travel bubble process. They are working on this travel uh, agreement uh, into details as to how our tourists would be uh, screened, make sure that they have the double dose uh, vaccine. The administration is setting up meetings with every agency that will be involved. Torres hopes to meet next week. I hope that we can be able to meet uh, next week uh, more in details as to their arrival here from um, deep planning. Um, we're going through CBP, going to our health care declaration, uh, to the transport uh, from the airport to the respective uh, hotel. Um, so we want to make sure that it's seamless, uh, the process that we are we're having now is actually really, really good. Uh, to those that have tried traveling, would understand and appreciate the system we have today. Saipan is the main destination, but Tinian and Rota continues to be promoted. According to Governor Torres, they also expect to open up the northern islands in terms of tourism. Hopefully, a uh, number of our tourists will be able to go to Tinian uh, and or Rota or both uh, Rota and Tinian. And eventually, our goal is to also entice an opportunity to experience our, our last frontier, which is up to the Northern Ireland, and hopefully that will be sometime next year. With the low number of positive cases and the increasing percentage of fully vaccinated individuals in the community, Torres, along with other tourism officials, are confident about the current COVID-19 protocols that are put in place. Many members in the community are eagerly awaiting their tax refunds, child tax credit, and local stimulus. Finance Chief gives us an update. This year, the Department of Finance is using a new method on the distribution of tax refunds. Instead of releasing one big batch, tax refunds go out every week. So if you haven't had your tax refunds, uh, I ask you to be patient. Um, we're still working, uh, entering every week and releasing. Uh, this year, instead of waiting to enter everything at once and then have a massive batch go out, um, those that are entered and error free, we started releasing uh, tax refunds so that we can get these monies to the people that really need them. Taxpayers are encouraged to continue submitting your tax return forms if you haven't already, especially if you are eligible for the advanced child tax credit. Every family uh, that is qualified for child tax credits uh, with a child between the ages of 6 and 17 uh, will be receiving $3,000 of tax credit. And if those under uh, 5 and under will get $3,600. That comes out to be about $250 to $300 per month per child in advanced child tax credit for the next, for the rest of the uh, calendar year. Currently, DOF is awaiting an agreement with the IRS that will allow them to release the monthly checks. So we expect to get uh, an answer hopefully by the end of the month uh, with IRS and have a signed uh, agreement uh, on this program and start releasing these advanced checks uh, to our, um, our families here in the Commonwealth. As for the local stimulus, where each taxpayer will receive $500, Atelic states the projected date of release has been extended. We um, aggressively said that we will have this by the end of July. Uh, we are still working on it. Um, obviously, we're using data, tax data from 2019 and 2020. We want to ensure that everyone is um, uh, on the list to get their uh, local stimulus. And so I, I want to just uh, share that uh, although it is our goal for the end of July, we we'll still continue to push for that. But it probably most likely would be going into August when we're able to do this. Atelic asked that the community be patient. We are doing our best on top of the normal tax refund cycle. We have the advanced out tax credit cycle as well as this local stimulus. So um, we're we're hiring, we're trying to hire as much as we can to help us uh, with this data entry. And unfortunately, until we get a new revenue management information system, uh, things are still the old uh, manual data entry. Another arriving passenger tests positive for COVID-19. 
According to CHCC, the individual was identified through travel screening and was confirmed positive for the virus upon arrival. The individual has been moved to the designated isolation area for close monitoring. CHCC has already initiated contact tracing for the most immediate contacts and for passengers on the same flight. That brings the total number of COVID-19 cases to 185 since March 28th of last year. Coming up, KSPN gives you another Friday Jam. Stay tuned. I and CNMI, we are a team, and you cannot spell team without me, M-E. You get a shot, an opportunity to set the CNMI free from COVID-19. See, so let's go for a save, a strikeout, a knockout punch. That's our goal. V for victory, V for vaccinate. Let's make this a team win, and we can all celebrate. Eco Camp starts Monday, July 12th at Mariana's Trekking Camp. Activities include hiking, snorkeling, off-road and kayaking, field trips, arts and crafts, and go-karting. You can sign up online at marianastrekking.com. Just $100 per session includes lunch. See you at Eco Camp. Get out and get into gear at Eco Camp. Designed for ages 6 and above. Experience go-karting, off-roading, kayaking, snorkeling, hiking, and field trips. Sign up online at marianastrekking.com and take advantage of a special weekly rate of $100, including lunch. Starts July 12th. See you at EcoCamp. You have a phone, a game, an iPad, a laptop? Good. Leave them at home because the screen time at EcoCamp is sunscreen. Hike, bike, kayak, snorkel, off-road, and go-kart. Eco Camp starts July 12th at Marianas Trekking. Sign up at MarianasTrekking.com. So up until now, the only ways we've had to fight COVID are closing things down, which has been really hard on people here in the CNMI. Um, a lot of people have lost jobs, um, a lot of people have lost incomes, uh, and although it's been effective, it's not sustainable, it's not something we can do forever. Um, vaccination is a way for us to safely resume a lot of those things that bring vibrancy to the CNMI, to hopefully reopen to tourism in some safe capacity, to get people back to work in various service industries, Drop into the Shake Cafe at Gold's Gym for a quick and healthy meal. It's fast food that's good for you. Our July Smoothie of the Month has oatmeal, peanut butter, raisins, and cinnamon. It's a healthy blend of 450 calories that's perfect for a meal replacement or supplement. Shake it up at Gold's Gym. Welcome back to the Channel 2 News. Transportation opportunities expand in Rhoda and Tinian. Take a listen. It was disclosed in this morning's press briefing that Governor Ralph Torres will be flying out to Tinian today along with officials from the Commonwealth Office of Transit Authority to lead an official bus turnover to the island's leadership. Torres says this is a continuation of progress in expanding transit in the Commonwealth. We're excited that uh, Rhoda has a, a bus and now Tinian will have a bus and 
we we'll look forward to expanding this program. Since Typhoon Mankut and Super Typhoon U2, the administration recognized a need to expand transportation services on Rhoda and Tinian. Coda then coordinated with the CNMI Disability Network Partners to acquire ADA accessible vehicles for the two islands. On Saipan alone, Coda reports an average of 1,500 trips per month. Coda also responds to COVID-19 operations, transporting over 18,000 passengers since March of 2020. I also want to take this time to thank uh, all of Coda, all the staff, uh, the admin, and definitely the drivers uh, who's helped really stepped up to the plate on this COVID matter. They've stepped up and uh, they've transit, uh, transport our, our people, our tourists, um, uh, or our um, visitors, partners, military, I mean, you name it, uh, from the airport to the quarantine, and they've done a phenomenal job. So hats off to them. Thank you for for all the, the sacrifices that they've put out in the last year and a half. Uh, really, they've, they've really stepped up and there's not enough thank yous uh, for all that they have done and sacrificed. Together with Governor Torres in leading the turnkey ceremony was Lieutenant Governor Arnold Palacios and Alfreda Comacho Martita, who was the executive director of CODA. Also in attendance was Senate President Jude Hofschneider and Rhoda Mayor Ephraim at Atalig. And now, our special Friday treat for you. Our Weekend Jam features Laula Homebrew performing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Enjoy. We are Laula Homebrew performing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. One, two, three, four, and...
Alright, that'll put you in the mood for the weekend. Coming up, well, there's a new golf tournament that's going to pop up at the end of this year. It's for the house. For the different beats of your life, we're here to keep you connected the way you want it. Plans made for you, by you. Build your own bundle with Link. Select the internet, entertainment, mobile and home phone plans that fit your lifestyle. Pay for what you want, not for what you don't. Build your own bundle and save with Link.
Opioids are commonly prescribed drugs. They can help ease short-term pain after surgery, an accident, or illness. Common brand names include Vicodin, Demerol, Oxycontin, and Percocet. Opioids can be very addictive, and they can actually change how your brain works. Opioid misuse can lead to death. If you are prescribed an opioid medication, talk to your doctor. Always take exactly as directed, never take higher doses, keep your medication secure, and safely dispose of unused or expired medication. It only takes a little to lose a lot. The Tan Su Lin Foundation promotes the culture of giving back. The foundation and its generous partners are committed to supporting programs that include health, education, and sports. Initiatives that promote arts and culture, the environment, and tourism will benefit our community and our residents. Giving back and making a difference will help ensure that the island paradise we call home will be a better place to live. Tonight's sports brought to you in part by Tan Holdings through the Tan Su Lin Foundation, making communities a better place to live. Point of sports fans. Buenos sports fans, one sport that's booming here these days is golf. For example, last Sunday at Coral Ocean Point, it was backed up. We're going to be here hearing a lot more about Coral Ocean Point Golf Course in the coming year. Nine sports are slated for the Pacific Mini Games for the summer of 2022. Golf is one of them. The venue, Coral Ocean Point. Games Executive Director Ben Babout explains how this golf course was selected. On the hands of our uh, Golf National Federation uh, locally, and uh, they reached out to the golf courses, and apparently only one came back with a, um, a really uh, exciting proposal, and it just happened to be Coral Ocean Resort Club, and uh, and the federation uh, obviously chose that uh, for for that matter. They're the only one that submitted a proposal, and on top of that. Very uh, exciting proposal, uh, inclusive, both for the national players uh, and at the same time our international players. Very attractive tournament fee. Along with that, uh, they're spending more money in manicuring, bringing superintendent and also equipment uh, to make sure that next year's uh, Pacific Mini Games golf tournament uh, is the highest uh, level uh, and expectation for our visiting golfers. Members of the NMI national team will need to qualify. There are 108 that will vie for that through qualifying tournaments. A team NMI, there'll be uh, four men and four women. Uh, two of the men needs to be under 19 and two of the women needs to be under 19. So basically, uh, you know, based, uh, made up of a uh, junior golfer uh, inclusive. 
On behalf of all golfers, I would like to say, more tournaments, please, especially when they're for a good, a noble cause. There's a new golf tournament coming up at the end of the year to add to your schedule. It's the first annual Ronald McDonald House Charities Golf Tournament. This will go to support the house in Honolulu that serves all of Micronesia, including the Northern Marianas, in long-term health for children, a project that McDonald's Joe and Marsha Zuzu have long had their eyes on. This tournament that we're putting together, as uh, the chairman was mentioning, is something that you know me and my wife have been thinking for a very very long time and i'm so happy that we have been volunteering to chair the group we're gonna finally see this thing become alive and be actually taking place with golfers coming from guam combined with local turnout tournament coordinator ben babal is optimistic that this will be a valuable fundraiser the whole proceeds goes to ron mcdonald house charity and just based on our anticipation, diamond sponsors, gold sponsors, uh, silver sponsors, and bronze sponsors, we're looking forward to close to about $50,000 uh, netting on this tournament. The one day tourney, December 11th at Lao Lao Bay Golf Resort. Tonight's student athlete feature is on someone who we've had here before, and that's what happens when you have talent and work hard. Jesse Owens said, we all have dreams. In order to make dreams come into reality, it takes an awful lot of determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort. Young Star Shining, brought to you by the Tan Su Lin Foundation. Of all the sports, distance running may be the loneliness and the most painful, but for a select few, it's a way of opening doors. Tiana Cabrera has emerged as Saipan's top high school distance runner. Thing is, she's so good at what she does, Saipan International School made full use of her athletic abilities at the last All Schools Championship. I think I did four to five events, but my coach, Dr. Ron, was crazy, so he put me in all the relays, which was really tiring. Hey, but you still ended up with some medals. How many medals did you get? I got most medals in most of the events, I guess. Yeah. How many goals? Golds 2, which was the 1500 meters and the 3000 meters. What were you most proud of? I was proud of the 3000 meters and the 1500 meters. Both? Yes. Yeah, now you've been coming off of cross country and you've coming off of the track. How, how do you compare running those distances on grass and the track? Do you have a preference? I prefer the, I prefer cross country because it's long distance and I prefer long distance and it's like more widespread and landscape wise, whereas the track is kind of just repeatedly on the same. As she looks to finish high school, she's got her eyes looking upward to the future. My goal is to just try to improve my time for the next cross country season, and hopefully I could go on a national team. Any other supports that you've been playing? Oh, I played volleyball, and I recently joined tennis. Interestingly enough, compared to distance running, tennis is just a bunch of short steps. It's very hard. It's like a lot of foot movements. I'm just like, ah. Oh. Young Star Shining, brought to you by the Tan Su Lin Foundation. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. I don't believe what I just saw! Buy one, get one free for the off-road adventure at Marianas Trekking. Come ride our side-by-sides at our best price ever and experience a great 90-minute trail ride. Rain or shine, hopefully rain. Book now at Marianas Trekking, Saturdays and Sundays by reservation. Call 323-8735 or book at marianastrekking.com. We're in a race whether we know it or not. And build our new normal. So what are you going to do this year? 
At Gold's, a dedicated fitness studio with a cushioned floor is perfect for group exercise. The cardio room features a variety of treadmills, bikes, steppers, and ellipticals. Fitness machines will help you achieve your goals, and the largest free weight area on Saipan gives you comfortable space to work out. Gold's gym team is ready to help you get to your goals. Try harder. We know you can do it. Our high today was 90 degrees, the heat index 107. Woohoo, that's up there. The low 79, humidity 66%. Tomorrow for the Derby, partly cloudy. Morning showers, east winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, high 90, low 80. Seas are 3 to 4 feet, so it's not too rough out there. But an increasing chance of showers on Sunday. Sunrise at 553 Saturday, a high tide at 719 in the morning, followed by a low tide at 217, a sunset at 651. New moon tomorrow night. And that's it. For this week, but not the weekend, it's just gonna start right now. See you back here on Monday.